another beautiful day here in Darwin. Hardly any breeze around. Tide's coming out. Anyway, we'll see what's around. Hoping there might be a flat in here. I just saw a dolphin come up. Hopefully it might come up again. Over there, that's it. There it is over there again. Looks like it might be a whale. I don't know. hermit crabs down here <laughs> not a bad rock um, platform to fish off on a high tide well this is what it looks like um, left over from World War II looks like a command post of some description There's some more fortifications around to my left, around the headland over there. Go for a peek inside and have a look. There you are, you probably get a few, a bit of a feed off here. Some, there was some oysters on here at one stage, all throughout the whole area. I don't think it was this low though, I think it was up further. Over the years the tide's washed it away and moved it into here. It could be wrong. It's any logical explanation I can come up with. Probably have easy on coconut tree starting to grow. There's a nut there. Roots grow to one side. Palm comes out the other. Top stuff. Well, this is what I walked all this way for. Thought there might be a bit more water in it. Anyway, see how we go. There's a few bait fish in there. This is all the sand underneath here, not mud. Oh, a bit of mud, anyway. Well, I thought I'd take a break from fishing and come out to a B-24 Liberator crash site that crashed here in January 1945, killing all six crew. Yeah, this is what's left of it. Oh, there's a pit over there as well. Also got some placards to tell you exactly what's what around and what type of part of the aircraft it was. Not This is not the only B-24 Liberator bomber that crashed up in Northern Australia. There was another one that crashed the Gulf of Carpentaria in Queensland, just outside of Escott Station there. Initially when that crashed, all the crew survived. However, two went to walked went to um, Escott Station and got rescued. The other four, they went west, basically walking in the middle of nowhere, and out of those four, only one lived. Yeah, the other four, uh, three, died of starvation and thirst and whatnot. Maybe they stayed with the aircraft and would have been found. Dingo's just looking at me. Well, that's the end of my fishing trip today. Had a few strikes here and there, but nothing to speak of. But anyway, it's been a good day. Until next time, I'll catch you later.